Ah, you hear that familiar music. You know uh, this ends. It's uh, playoff time, eh? Yeah, it's playoff time. Still a uh, couple more sleeps before, before the Sens get at it. An esteemed hockey panel here oh. this morning to talk more about the upcoming playoffs. Terry Mark God is here from CDB Sports. How are you? Good to see you. Lever Sage here from the Team 1200. How are you? Always a pleasure. Good to have you here, fellas. So, shortened season. What did you think of that? I liked it. Uh, so did I. Yeah, I thought it was a lot better. Yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of intrigue, More a lot intense. of games, yeah. and things just kept rolling along. And for the first time in a long time, you feel like there's momentum in the NHL. Yeah, they yeah. should have ended it, like ended. Uh, you know, we, we're we're too late. We're about a month too late right now. Yeah, started earlier. Yeah, that's right. I, I agree. But anyway, here we go with the playoffs starting tonight. Yeah, let's uh, first of all take a look at the Sens and Canadians because that generates a lot of interest around here. Yes, it does. That's a pretty good matchup in your mind, Terry. I think it's a dream matchup. Marketing-wise, it's a good one. It's nice to be playing Montreal. I think it's a good matchup for the Ottawa Senators. The Senators aren't barn burners. It's an okay hockey team. Mm -hmm. Montreal, an okay hockey team. I think it's a good matchup for Ottawa. You I like it? Well, I love it for the next generation here in Ottawa. I mean, you finally get a series where uh, the youngsters that are coming up and Ottawa Senator fans can cheer for Ottawa against Montreal. They'll probably have a lot of friends and family that or have fans as well and this is a chance if Ottawa can win this series this is where you kind of regenerate the fans and they, they get into it and you have the young fans kind of say you know I'm proud to be an Ottawa Senators fan I think there's a real opportunity here to do that. Terry Marcotte has picked the Ottawa Senators to win this series. Yes. I you, you have picked the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, yes. In, yes. A, in a long series. Yeah. yeah. I don't like Carey Price and I like the Senator size. Yeah. Well, I think that's fair. I mean, people underestimate what Craig Anderson has done, set the modern day record for save percentage in the history of the NHL. This yeah, season. yeah. 941. I mean, it's incredible. The, pro the problem is you must do that in the playoffs. Right. Right. And the guys never won a series. The two worst goaltenders, though, coming into the playoffs with save percentage, number one, Carey Price. Yes. And number two, Jonathan Quick. But he obviously yeah. knows when to turn it up as well. You guys have both picked uh, Pittsburgh. That's uh, no surprise. You've both picked the Rangers uh, to beat the Washington Capitals. Uh, I, I like that pick. The Rangers seem to mm -hmm. come on late and they're a playoff team. Let's get to the Boston Toronto series because oh. that generates a lot of interest <laughs> around here as well in many ways. Uh, Can I give you my favorite stat already? Sure. Phil Kessel. Three. Oh, oh for one. Well, he's got three goals in 22 games against Boston, and is minus 22. He's also 0 for one in showing up for his. Um, uh, yeah, that was dumb. Media he, scrum. He, that was dumb. Yeah. Deal with it. Get it out of the yeah, way. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You both picked Boston to win the series. I think it'll be a long series again, and I think the Leafs are right in it. I just don't think, you know, it, it comes to Game Six and Game Seven. There's too much big game experience with the Bruins in kind of a one or, or two game shot at the end of it. Right. Toronto just does not have it and they rely too much on guys right now and James Reimer and Nazem Kadri seems to be fading a little bit and you know Bozak's hurt and you know they just seem to be fading a little bit. I think they have a chance but can, I don't Can think you imagine if Toronto wins a series? One series they'll shut the city down. They will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But they won't, Terry. So. The West gets started tonight with uh, three games <laughs> including uh, the President's Trophy winning uh, Chicago Blackhawks uh, opening uh, their uh, series uh, tonight. Uh, so the Blackhawks obviously with the best regular season record of any team. Yeah, I, I think the, the Blackhawks the, are going to be tough to beat. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I think they got a real tough road. I mean, you look at the one versus eight Pittsburgh against the Islanders, and everybody gives it to Pittsburgh. Yes, Chicago had a great year. Yeah. They're facing a real good Minnesota Wild team. Yeah. And yeah. I think the road for Chicago with, I don't want to say suspect goaltending, I know they have great team defense, but I don't think you think Corey Crawford or Ray Emery, that guy's going to win a Stanley Cup. And they could have three really tough series ahead of them. I yeah. don't think the Blackhawks are as much of a lock as people think. Vancouver, you both picked Vancouver to win their opening round series? Yeah, I, I like the uh, goaltending and I like the experience of the Canucks. Is it going to be Schneider? Is it going to be Luongo? I think it'll be Schneider if he's healthy. Yeah, yeah, it will be Schneider, I yeah. think. And I think if Luongo gets in, I think he'll play well. I think Vancouver is one of the dark horses. No one's talking about them. A yeah. lot of big game experience as well. And you know, if they get any goaltending at all, they're going to be tough. Uh, L.A. St. Louis, you split on this one. Terry picked L.A., uh, the defending Stanley Cup champions. You picked the Blues of St. Louis. I think the Blues were the second best team in the West last year. They just ran into the L.A. Kings. Uh, they, yeah. It depends on what Brian Elliott does, but. 
Uh, they have added Jay Bolmister, and I think a great team defense there. Yeah. And I don't think the Kings might have that it the second year round. You said it, Brian Elliott. Well, he's a, yeah, absolutely. But Jonathan Quick again. Yeah, but under the pressure, Brian Elliott in. cracks. We all know exactly. that. Exactly, Brian Elliott. Better that's team right. defense this year in St. Louis Brian than it was Elliott. in years past. Brian Elliott, he cracks. Yeah. yeah. And what happened to Halak? Yeah. What happened to that guy? We yeah. might see Jake Allen before it's all said. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, the only other series is Detroit and Anaheim. Again, you split on that. You took Anaheim. You took Detroit. The Red Wings, 22 straight years in the playoffs, and a bit of a surge at the end of the regular season to get in. Nick Lidstrom. Not the same team. That's no, right. you're right. Yeah. The depth is missing, I think, yeah. from Detroit. Well, but we saw Datsuk and Zetterberg elevate when they needed to the most at the end. They're playing playoff hockey. I love Jimmy Howard in net, too. And, boy, Anaheim started off real well. I don't see them playing as well as they did before. I think it's a real tough series. Yeah. I think it's going to be fun to watch starting tonight. Uh, a shame, I think, for us here on the uh, in the eastern part of the uh, the continent that we don't see any eastern games to start. But you got Chicago. you got St. Louis. You got some good series to give, open. Give us a chance to see a little bit of the West. True enough, eh? Uh, and one quick note on the Sens uh, while we have 30 seconds to go here. What is the effect of Eric Carlson coming back on this team? Oh, Eric Carlson is huge. I mean, he can be the guy on this team. And uh, the way he's played his couple games back, this guy can be the guy. Everything will go through him. Yeah. We've seen a team that can't score. And now you got Carlson back. If they didn't have Eric Carlson, they wouldn't be able to get out of their own end at all, I think, against Montreal. Now they have a chance to be able to do that, get the pucks to the forwards, and have a chance in the series. Game one is uh, Thursday night, uh, Sens versus the Habs, and right back at it Friday night. Matter of fact, if the series goes the distance, they'll have two uh, back to backers back -back. in this series. Should be interesting to watch. Should be fun. Fellas, thanks for your time. Play all right. Fun.